Hi, welcome to Astrology for Gan Traders. My name is Olga Morales. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration about uh, a new item that has been included in Solar Fire version 9, which was released this week. That is, if we click on the graphic ephemeris little icon here, you see that we have a new function called Import Financial Data. Now, what this allows you to do is to import data into the graphic ephemeris so you can study. Um, how whatever your whatever stock you're interested in has reacted in the past um, when certain transiting aspects have occurred to the natal chart. So let's get started. The first thing we've got to do is actually get some data if you don't already have some. And where we can go, um, which has been set up for this, um, is we go to Yahoo. Yahoo, and I'll just start. Yahoo has free uh, data and what you can do is you just put in the symbol of whatever stock I'm just going to do BHP and you'll see that the page comes up for the stock and then what we do is on the side here it says historical prices you click on that and you'll get another page full of the data scroll down to the bottom and it says download to spreadsheet click on that and then save as I've created a folder for data so what you want to put in here is BHP I'm just going to say daily okay and that's going to save it to you in the format that will easily import into the graphic ephemeris so we go back to the graphic ephemeris now and we say import financial data and there's our data so click on that and say open so the file has been loaded now so then we get this new page here and what I do is just have a look at I'm just interested in the close of the day okay and you click import so now we should be able to see that data on our page and we can so I can I can just animate this and go back and you can see the price data in there now so you can do a lot of amazing research with that you can watch where transits to natal and how the price reacts also you can change the harmonic of the graphic ephemeris you can do hard and soft aspects if you want to look at any positive um, transits with you can change it to 120 or you can actually go and have a look at how declination may be involved because um, you can do a lot of things with it now well that declination we need to change the setting for that you need to put it to about 30 to view it better so you can see declination and charts um, and so there's a lot you can do um, and, but it's amazing that now we have this ability to import whatever financial data we have um, for people who are interested in financial astrology you'll be able to do some interesting research okay thank you